Hey guys, and welcome to this unofficial Community Manager's Diary. It's been a while since I last did one of these, and I hope you like the new setup. If it looks a little bit amateurish, it's the first time that I'm using a green screen, so I hope you at least enjoy the results. I'm going to follow the same kind of format that I used to have, which is to take a question from the last diary, answer that, and of course that person gets a copy of Interstellar Marines. So this week, the person with the best question is Patrick Squieto1, if I've completely mispronounced your name there, and his question was, as more people are playing, will there be a possibility for private servers? Also, will there be Steam workshops or mods? So to take the first part of the question, yes, we will be releasing unranked server executables for Interstellar Marines. Now this means that clans and communities can host their own servers, we may very well talk to GSPs such as uh, Multiplay or the larger European ones and see if they can host as well. And if they can host, then we might also allow ranked servers uh, from those providers as well. So yes, you'll be able to host your own servers. The second question, will there be Steam Workshop or mods? Now that's uh, a, a much more difficult question to answer. At the moment we've talked about that kind of thing and we've said we're going to put it to one side until the game is much closer to completion. Realistically, having Steam Workshop or pure mods will be really quite difficult and there's a strong chance that won't happen. Uh, as far as a map editor is concerned though, that is something we really want to have in the game and there's a very strong chance that will happen. But both of them will be looked at in more detail several months if not several years in the future once Interstellar Marines is closer to completion. Now of course the big thing this week is update 9. When is it going to come? What is it going to have? Originally we had uh, we planned to have that released this week. What we've done is put it back into next week so we expect that to be released around Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. That will contain a lot of different things. Originally it was supposed to be quite a little teeny tiny update just a, maybe a two week sprint after we came back from the holidays. But it seems to have grown into something much larger. And certainly for me at least, there are two very important things that should make it into that update. The first thing that will definitely make it into that update is the new character controller. Now, as you know, Ron has been with us since I believe September and he's been working continuously on animations, that's his job. But we've had incredible technical issues getting from his animations in Maya or Max, whatever he's been working in, into Unity and Mechanim. We've now managed to get past those issues. So the new character controller should be in with the next update. That means you'll find that the movement of your character should be a lot smoother and it will also feel quite different. You will also notice that the walk animation, the run animation, the head bob, the sway, all of that is new and all of that will change the feel. And on top of all that, we have, or at least should have, the new marine model. Now, if you've watched, uh, if you're followers on Facebook, you'll see that in there we have, we posted last week, it was a, a bug video. And it showed what's now starting to be called Flipper Man. And it's uh, just basically an animation bug where the guy's running around and his legs and arms are flopping around all over the place. If you look at the marine model, that's a new model. And he's got a backpack on, so hopefully we'll be able to get that backpack in. And that then starts to lead into the future, into things such as carrying equipment, carrying additional ammo, carrying additional weaponry. All that kind of thing comes from the backpack. So as you can see, as we're gradually adding things to the game, we're making it, taking it further and adding all those new different features. So that's a character controller, and that's probably about the biggest thing I would say we're expecting in Update 9. But the biggest thing for me personally is actually spectate mode. Um, there's two reasons for that. The first is because it allows much better videos to be made. Now that starts with the update videos that we create, one for each update, but also the kind of stuff that you guys put out. If you want to do a frank video, you now have a much better set of tools to be able to do that. But the most important thing is the fact that we will be able to live stream events. So the community tournament, which will start the Monday after Update 9 is released, we'll be able to live stream that out. So we'll, we'll take a couple of matches each round, live stream them out through our own channel, probably through our private channels as well, so we can get a bit of exposure for you guys. It also means 
that uh, clan scrims or practices, if we're available, we can stream them. But it also means that you can stream them as well. So if you ever wanted to be a caster, or you've ever thought of live casting games, and you've never really tried it, or perhaps you're actually very good at it, and you just simply want to do it in IM, this now gives you the opportunity to live cast games. Now, Spectate Mode is about 95% definite for being an update 9 which means it should be in but it might not be we'll have to see what happens next week but certainly the work that benjamin has been putting into that is absolutely incredible and uh, if you've not seen his video on facebook please go across and take a look at us on facebook you'll really enjoy what you see now i've already mentioned clan scrims but one of the big things that we want to do is to build communities and build frameworks that communities can be built around and that's one of the reasons why the spectate mode for me at least is such a big thing because it allows us to expose in a nice way your clans and communities out to a much wider audience as part of that we will also be holding our second uh tournament we held the first one over the holidays and it was absolutely a heck of a lot of fun. Everyone that was there enjoyed it. Uh, the randomized teams worked really well. All that was, it was awesome actually. It was really cool to start to see as well. Some people uh, live streamed out the game. Some people recorded them. All this kind of thing we've got as, uh, put aside so that we can use that in the future. It really was a lot of fun. So we're going to do the second version of this. And this will start the first Monday after update 9 comes out. Now, because we're not doing it during a holiday, we've had to change the timetable a little bit. And the way that we're doing it is on Sunday evenings, we'll have the US. On Monday morning, this is all our time, by the way. On Monday mornings, we will have the uh, Australian version. And on Monday evenings, we will have the EU version. Uh, you are free to take part in all three of those if you want to, or none of those. Completely up to you. Just simply turn up on the day. We'll tell you what you need to do. The rules for the community tournament are already on the forums. If you want to take a uh, quick flick through, let us know your comments and your feedback. If no one has any major issues with them, they'll carry on as they are. And they're pretty much the same as what we had before. Now, once that's done, a couple of weeks later, once that finishes, we're planning on holding and starting a brand new league. And this is really, if you've got a community or you've got a clan, start practicing and start getting your guys together. The aim for the league is to have uh, three groups. Again, one with uh, EU clans and uh, teams, one with American teams, one with Australian time zone teams. And that means that you guys can play each other within your own time zone. So there's none of this 12 hour change, 12 hour difficulty issue. So we will have two types of team in that league. The first one will be uh, pre-made. So for example, if you've got a clan, then you, your clan takes part in it. You play together as a clan. But if you're a single player, that's fine. Just simply sign up for it. You'll be put into a team of people, hopefully in your same time zone place in a group of teams within your own uh, time zone, and then off you go. You play your matches and let's see who's the best. And of course, we will be live casting them. One thing we've had a lot of feedback after update seven and eight is the accuracy of weaponry. In particular, the uh, how quickly stamina comes in and starts to impact on your accuracy. So hopefully before update nine comes out, Bolzar and I will be sitting down with Kim and spending a few hours just looking at the accuracy model, how it works, how it's changed, how we need to adapt it a little bit perhaps. Uh, there is an argument, and we've had this from quite a large section of the community, which is the stamina kicks in too quickly. I mean, we are Marines. We're the elite of the elite. That's a cliche. And we should be super fit. So if you've been running for 20 seconds and your Marines are already tired, Perhaps that's too quick. And this is one of the ways that we listen to the community because this is feedback we've had from a lot of people. So don't be surprised if in update 9 or certainly update 10, the weapons accuracy has been tweaked a little bit so it's a little bit more accurate. We're also going to look at the number of shots it takes for the head, for the torso and for the arms and the legs. And just to see if they need a bit of a tweak. Now we do have to remember in all of this that the SMG is one weapon 
and the other weapons are due to start making an appearance somewhere around the end of April, early May, as are the attachments. So we have to make sure that what we change in the SMG fits into later on having a sniper rifle, an assault rifle, a pistol, and all those different kinds of weapons that we'll bring in. So that's it for this edition of the unofficial Community Manager's Diary. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been fun doing it. It's been what? Da, 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 da. Close on three months since I did the last one. That's an incredible amount of time. And I apologize it's taken such a while to be able to put this one together. Uh, as with all the others, if you've got a question, put it in the YouTube comments. The best question I'll pick out on the next video uh, read that one out, answer it, and that person will win a copy of Interstellar Marines. That's it, Firefly signing off, take care, enjoy your gaming.